hi guys thanks so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel today i'm bringing to you my sephora haul so i am addicted to sephora and marshall both equally like i love the stores both they will have great things to offer and since i'm a product junkie it gets no better than sephora and marshall but today i'm coming to you with a sephora haul i recently reached my vib rogue status and if you guys do not know what that is it means you spend a thousand dollars within a year with sephora and you reach a certain tier of status and i am now vib rogue so i'm super happy but then super alarmed because it's like i had no idea i had spent that much money so they had a vib rogue sale so i decided to the rack up on a couple of things I wanted to try um some things I already loved and yeah let's get right into the haul so I have tons of skincare for the most part like a couple of makeup items but um I was more concerned with skincare because it, before I start getting into like a lot of the foundations and things that I want to try and or love I want to make sure um the base of my face like the foundation which is my skin is on a thousand is on point so let's get right into the haul so I'll start with makeup and then I'll go straight into skincare so the first thing that I got was the Kat Von D, the Everlasting. It is the mini liquid lip set. And it's eight of her lipsticks in here. Do not mind some of this um, stuff that came off one of my packages. Um, it leaked in the box and it was a little really oily. So these are the Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. And they are six must-have matte plus two exclusive colors in here. So if you're a fan of Kat Von D, I would say get this because you can't beat many liquid lipsticks. And then secondly... And lastly, for makeup, I got the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick Palette. And it says, like, lipstick is my vice on the box. And I can't wait to try this. So you guys know swatch videos are coming really, really, really soon. So these were the only two um, makeup things that I acquired in my um, Sephora shopping spree. So let's get right into skincare. So let's get into some of the sets first, and then I'll get into the individuals. The first set I got was from Origins, and it's the Explorers Club. Um, Origins mask, so it's kind of like the like the mask set. So you have the maskamizer, which is skin optimizing mask primer. This is how you prep your skin for the mask. I got the retexturizing mask with rose clay, the clear improvement um, mask with activated charcoal to clear pores, and then the drink up intensive overnight um, mask. So it comes with three masks in here, and then it comes with the um, the mask kind of primer spray, also. The next set that I got from Sephora is Sephora's favorite, Soko to Tokyo, and it's the hottest beauty trends from South Korea and Japan. So I got this entire set from them because it's some really nice things I want to try in here, like the Bosha Charcoal Pore Pudding, the Tatcha Luminous Dream Mist, um, the Black Hatch Steam Pore Pack, and the Dr. Jar Beauty Bomb, and then the Skin Ink Pure Viral Pill. So it was a bunch of things in here that I wanted to try, so I decided just to get the set. Set again, the individual sizes of them all. And this was, I don't know, I would think this was about $40, so it wasn't too bad of a price. And then the last set I got was the Sephora's Favorite Skin Wonderland. Little luxuries for glowing skin from head to toe. So this comes with things that you can use in your face literally from head to toe. So you have like your Tarte Maracuja Oil, the um, Sunday Riley, the Brightening Enzyme Water Cream, um, L'Occitane. This is the shower gel that they have in here. And a bunch of other really great things like Josie Moran, Clinique, Caudalie, and things of that nature. So this is what the box looks like. As you can see, there's tons of stuff in here. This was about $64, a value of $156. And I wanted to try all of these stuff. So yeah, I bought it. Now let's get into some of the individual things that I got from Sephora. Some things I already was a fan of, some things I want to try for my skin. Um, the first thing I got was the Kane and Austin, um, the 20% Miracle Pad. I've been using this. I bought it from um, Vibrant Beauty. And if you guys aren't familiar, familiar with Vibrant Beauty, it's um, a beauty boutique in Harlem. And I was in love with them. So when I heard they had to sell a 20% off, I got another jar of this. This is really, really good at minimizing pores, evening out the skin complexion, um, firming your skin, and things of that nature. So really, really great there. Um, next, um, I got the Dr. Jar Water Drop Hydrating Moisturizer. It gets really cold here in New York. And for me, I get up really early to go to work. And so my skin pays the price. So I decided to kind of switch up and get a more hydrating moisturizer for the morning and kind of, you know, help my skin during the harsh winters here. And I love, love, love this. It goes on really weird, like a, um, goes on like a, a splash of water on your face. And for me, since I have combination skin, my skin tends to get a little dry around my mouth um, area. And this definitely helps with that. 
Um, next, moisturizer-wise, you guys have heard me talk about this. It is the Ule Henriksen Sheer Transformation. So this, I love. I got this as a sample in one of my Sephora plays, and I've been in love with it ever since. Um, it's really, really great. It helps with hyperpigmentation. It helps even out the skin tone. Um, very moisturizing, but it's not super wet or um, oily. So it, it, it does the job, and it gets the job done. And I use this mostly at night. Um, next, you have the Josie Moran Argon Cleansing Oigo, and it's um, you can use it as a daily cleanser. I use it to take off my makeup, and then when my face was a little dry, um, I wanted to try this because, I mean, it just seems pretty dope, and it's smells amazing if you in a sense this smells really really good so i wanted to get it to try to take off my makeup and then you know when it gets really really cold to kind of switch up my cleansers a little bit and use this since it's a lot more moisturizing um next you also have the josie moran and this is the nirvana hydrating treatment mist and so this is kind of like a um you can use this after your toner but before your moisturizer it kind of kind kind of refreshes your face it helps with even in skin tone discoloration and then also you can use it as a refresher during the day and also to set your makeup so for the fall and winter i wanted to get this because like i said i get up really early and this is gonna help hydrate and keep my skin moisturized throughout the day um last from Josie moran i got a lot of Josie moran stuff this is the Josie moran argon exfoliating cleansing powder and this is kind of like a light exfoliator um some things are a little bit too harsh and so i got this one to kind of mix in with my cleanser sometimes you can use it by itself but i like to use it to kind of mix in with my cleanser you know when i need like a deep kind of cleanse but i want anything that's too harsh it's going to really irritate my skin and i only have three more products guys so just hold on um next i have the herbivore blue tansy aha plus bha resurfacing resurfacing clarity mask so i got this i've heard great things about this and you guys know i love my mask and so i decided to give this a try um during the sale and then also i also got the ule henriksen truth sugar glow polishing mask um so I have some dark spots on my face and this is like a brightening mask. So I want to get this to kind of try and brighten up some of the dark spots on my face and help, help get rid of them. And I didn't even know that I had this in my skin wonderland box. So go figure. I got the full size of this also to try it. So, I mean, you guys can see I'm a product junkie because I didn't even realize I had two of these now. And last but not least, we cannot forget about the eyes. I got the Tarte Maracuja C Brightener Eye Treatment. Um, I needed a new eye cream. The one I got in one of my Sephora Play um, bags ran out. So I needed to get a new one. And I heard great things about this one. So I got this one. Um, that's all I have for my Sephora um, VIB Rogue um, haul. Um, let me know what things you guys like from my haul video. And also, if you guys are fans of Sephora and you know about their sale, tell me, share some things with me that you guys bought during their 20% off sale. Um, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Chloe Lear. Bye.